Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dia. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little mid-year check-in with the planners that I'm using. Lately I've been making some vlogs and I've really been having a lot of fun posting them. So if you wanna check them out, make sure you check out that playlist. And I just want to thank everybody who's been so supportive and liking and commenting on the vlogs I've been making. They're a lot of fun. I know I like to watch people's vlogs when I'm doing stuff like the treadmill or the stair stepper at the gym. It really helps me to get through it. And I also find a lot of motivation and ideas through these vlogs. So I really enjoy sharing them and thank you for everybody who's been watching them. Today I am doing a mid-year check-in, like I said, with my planners. I have been using the Hobonichi A5 Cousin for the last couple of years now, but I have switched out of it completely. And I've also added an online planning tool to my system. Let me go ahead and start with my main planner, which is my new Wonderland planner. This is the Wonderland 222 B6 planner, and this has replaced my Hobonichi cousin. I never thought I would leave the Hobonichi cousin, but here I am, and I'm very happy so far. In case you're curious, this is a hand-stitched leather tee cover, and the reason I purchased it is I had a couple of other B6 Stalogy planners, but they're a little bit too big for this Wonderland planner. And at Hand Stitch Leather Tee, she used to keep this size on her website. It's not on there anymore, but if you request it, she will make it for you. And I got it in the natural leather. Oh, and I've been using the Sarasa clip pin. This is the grand, I think, but I've been using the Sarasa pins lately. I kind of stopped using my fountain pens for a while because I just was having a lot of smearing issues. And right now I just need to open my planner and plan and not worry about things smearing. Okay, the first thing in my Wonderland planner is that I did put this little pouch in the front here and I keep the stickers that I use in my monthly layout. And usually it's just if I get my hair done and my nails done, I just have those little stickers in there. I keep my morning intentions in this planner. I put them together in Canva and printed them up on a sheet of paper that I could just tape in here. And then I have a couple of stickers from Sterling Ink just to make it look a little bit prettier. Before I go ahead and flip to the next page, I just purchased these little gold tabs from Tokyo Pen Shop. And I think they're Midori tabs and I love them. They just slide into the page. They're very thin, very light, and they don't stick out very far. So they are perfect for a minimal planner. The next thing I use the Wonderland 222 for is my habit tracker. This is where I keep track of my Miracle Morning, my vitamins, and if I read for fun. And then I also like to keep track of my Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers. Next is my monthly review and overview of the upcoming month. I haven't really figured out how to use this section yet. I've just been kind of breaking it up into four categories, finance, business, health, and relationships. And then on the review month, I'll put in highlights for the month and things that I would like to improve. And then for the upcoming month, I put looking forward to, so any big events that we might be attending or anything special we might be doing. And then I go ahead and write in my goals for the other four categories. Next is my monthly calendar. And this is where I just keep any big appointments that we have, weddings we have to shoot, events that we have to photograph, cheer practice for my husband, just anything that's going to take us out of the office. This is where I put it. I also keep track of whenever I get my hair colored in here. And I love the Sterling Ink stickers because they are so minimal and I use them to decorate my monthly pages. And if you followed me when I was in my Hobonichi, you would know my favorite part of these planners is the weekly layout. So this is where I don't really plan ahead in this area. This is more of a memory keeping area. And I write down and keep track of what I'm doing throughout the day. I'll stop every half hour to check in and see what I've been doing and write it down. And I know that probably sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it really helps me to review my day and see where I can improve, where I lost focus. And it's like a journal too. I'll look back if we went to the movies, I have it in here. So I get to remember that we went to a movie on that day. I also write dinners at the bottom. 
So if I need dinner ideas or I want to remember what I had that day for dinner, I can just go ahead and look at the bottom. The huge difference between this planner and my Hobonichi is that Saturday and Sunday is in this shared column over here on the side. And in the Hobonichi, they have their own columns. And at first I didn't like this, but it's kind of nice because I've been giving myself the weekends off of tracking everything in half hour increments. So it's kind of been a really nice break. And I still go ahead and just write in some of the big things that we did for the day, just for memory keeping. The other thing with this planner is that there are no daily pages. And if you followed me back when I was planning in my Hobonichi planner, my biggest struggle were the daily pages. I loved them and hated them at the same time. They gave me plenty of space for writing out to-do lists, taking notes, all that stuff. But a lot of times I just felt like I had too much space. So I would overcomplicate things and I love that they have these pages. They're just these blank pages at the end of the book. And I believe 2023 is going to have even more pages at the end of the book. So what I do is I just go ahead and divide the page into four and I write the date at the top and then I make my to-do list for the day. This is more my personal to-do list and I'll write, you know, things I have to do around the house or things that I want to do for my videos and my planner stuff. And then anything for my business, I have been keeping track on this new on, well, it's not really new. It's been around for a long time, but new to me planning app and it's called Sensama. And I'll get into that after I show you all my planners. Okay. The other thing that I like about drawing these in is I don't have to have one every day. There are some days where I have a wedding or some other kind of event where I'm gone all day and I don't really need a to-do list. The next planner I am still using is my Hobonichi Weeks. So this is a standard Hobonichi Week. It's not the Mega and I am using it for my health and fitness tracker. I just keep this clear cover on it and then I do use a fountain pen in this one and it's just one of these platinum preppy pens and it's in extra fine or fi actually I think it's in fine and I like to use that in here because it doesn't really smear it dries pretty quick and I find that the boxes are pretty tiny in this one so I really need a fine pen to write in them so like I said this one is my health and fitness planner so in the annual overview up front this is where I keep track of my weight I was tracking it every day but now I'm tracking it every couple of days in the monthly section is where I keep track of my Apple Watch health info. So you know how you can track like how many calories and steps and everything on your watch. This is where I write it in. Usually the next morning I'll go ahead and write in my numbers for the day. It has my calories, steps, how many miles I walked and how much time I stood up and exercised. And then in the normal weekly pages, I break it down like this. On the left hand side, I have my meals. I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then on the right hand side, I have my snacks and my workout for the day or whatever activity that I do for the day. All I do is do a brief description of what I had for the day. So I can look back and see, you know, where I had maybe a little bit too much wine or beer and maybe too many snacks. And then sometimes when I'm looking for meal ideas, I'll just flip through these pages to see what I ate the previous weeks. I am also still going strong in my Hobonichi five year. I love this little A6 planner. This is where I write every morning about the day before and they're really small spaces. I'm gonna kind of cover this. So I've already completed one year in this, but there is a space for each year and I love it because it's just a small little paragraph recapping my day anything big that happened. I do have the leather cover that is made for this Hobonichi because it is an A6 size, but as you can see, it's really thick. So I purchased the cover at the same time that I purchased the book on the Hobonichi shop. So yeah, still loving this. And on days when I don't really have time to do a lot of journaling, I always do that. 
I even got my daughter and my husband doing those too. And then finally, the last planner I am still using, I think I will always use, is my Traveler's Notebook. And this is more of my deep thoughts kind of journal. I'll put pictures in here and let me see. I have, you know, this little envelope that I'll keep stickers and pictures and ephemera in. And let me see see if I can find a page. Well, I just found $5. <laughs> so I don't know how that got in there. But anyway, this is the cover. And I love these notebooks. So I just use a moleskine, moleskine, and I cut it down to fit in here. I find that it is the perfect amount of pages for me. Normally these are a lot thicker because I usually put a lot more things that I collect and pictures in here. But I don't know, lately, I just haven't been putting much effort into this journal, which makes me a little sad because I love flipping through my other thick journals and seeing all the memories that I collected in them. So I really wanna get back into this journal. So this is my more deep thought personal journal where I go more in depth about stuff. Okay, so that is the paper part of my planning. The new addition to my planning is called Sunsama, and they actually reached out to me to give their planning app a try, and I love it, but not only do I love it, my husband loves it. So he struggles, he's tried all sorts of different planners. He finally settled on the bullet journal. It's kind of the one he could stick to the best, but it still, it still wasn't really working for him. He has this really bad habit of making a to-do list and then just adding to the same to-do list and before you know it a week has passed by and the list is so overwhelming that he hasn't gotten anything done the reason i love this tool is it is a desktop application and then it also has a companion app for your phone or your ipad but we can both see it on our computers and I get to keep track of his to-do list. I guess I'm just better at breaking it down and making it more manageable than he is. So it's, it's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use it. It has all sorts of cool features and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Really quick before I go ahead and flip around to my screen recording to show you guys how this application works. Uh, one of the reasons that we are using this app now is because we switched our business. We are no longer photographing weddings. We are completely switching over to sports and school portraits. So we're working together a lot more now, which is why I need to know what my husband is doing because we work together. <laughs> and this app has been amazing to help us stay on track each of us knows what the other is doing. I'm totally excited to share that with you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how this app works. Hey guys, it is next day now. I tried to do a screen recording and it was a total fail. So I'm gonna try again today. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Sansama now. And this is one of my favorite features in this app. When you open it up at the start of the day, you have like a daily review and I'm gonna go ahead and take you through how I would do this. So yesterday in review and it clocks your time. I don't use it to clock how long I do things yet, but that option is available. It shows everything that we finished up yesterday, which is stuff that is checked off in this left hand column. And then over to the right is things that we didn't get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Then it takes me to what do you wanna get done today? This stuff I already had here and it pushed the things from the day before over to today as well. And then one of the things I like about this is if you click it, you can see how many times it has been pushed, which is perfect when I'm trying to make sure things are a priority or if we need to reassess whether they even need to be done. Over here on the right, we have our weekly objectives, which is just for us to keep in mind what we wanna be working on during the week. And then there's also what can wait. So like I said, if I look at one of these and let's just say the timeline follow-up call, I know it's not gonna be happening today now. Let's say I know it's gonna happen 
tomorrow or next week, I could just move it over to the next section. But that does need to happen today. So I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna hit next. And then it gives me a view of today's tasks plus the calendar for today. I can go ahead and add more tasks here if I want, but let me see an example. I'm gonna put record Sansama video. And then I can get this and say, I want to do this at 10 o'clock in the morning and just drop it there. And you'll see it on my timeline when I go into it. I can also extend this. So you'll be able to see this when I go into calendar view as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, looks good. And then it just has this little recap of what I have planned for today. And if I want, I can put obstacles that might get in my way. I'm not sure what Slack is, but this app does run with a lot of other programs. Like I know my daughter is using this now and she also uses Asana. So she has the two working together. I'm not sure how, but you know, it has the option to communicate with a lot of different apps. So I'm gonna hit get started. And now this is a weekly view of my to-do list. I absolutely love this because I can move things around and I can kind of see my tasks for the entire week. I have these tasks here, like this one, HRES Fall Portraits, and we have all of these subtasks that we need to get done underneath it. And sometimes these can start to look a little bit overwhelming on my to-do list. So if I right click it, I can always say to hide subtasks. And then that way I just see my major tasks. And if I need to see what they are, I can click into them or I can reveal subtasks. Anyway, that's just a little thing that I really enjoy because sometimes I have a lot of subtasks for one project and then it just makes my list look really overwhelming. And then of course, if you get something done, you just click it and it goes down to the bottom of your list. One of the other features that I really enjoy is channels. I have Better Together, Dia and Michael on here. So if a task is just for my husband, it will be colored with his color and name. And if it's something we're doing together, we will call it Better Together. And then it has this yellow color with it. The good thing about this is if he just wants to see what he has going on that he needs to get done when he's off on his own working, he can just click Michael and then only his tasks come up or vice versa. I can hit better together and the things that we need to do together come up. And let me go back to all. Over here on the right hand side, you have your calendar view of the day, which is so awesome to be able to see so you can see what's coming up. You can also track how long it takes you to do certain events. Say this one right here. I have said that it is gonna take me an hour to do, but you can come in here and then actually click play and it'll start recording how long it's taking you to do a certain task. And that's just a really good way to keep track of your time as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that because I don't really use it for that feature, but I thought that was really cool. Back over here on the left, I also have calendars. So I have Dia, Michael, Better Together, and then I subscribe to two of my other calendars. One of them is iCal, which is my personal calendar, and the other one is Studio Events, which is our business calendar. From this view here, you can go ahead and grab something and drag it onto the timeline here too. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pop over into the calendar view. And this is where we start our planning for the week. We will go in and schedule anything that is going to take us out of the office first and then we'll fill in where we can get some work done together or what we'll be doing in office. Again, I am this peachy pink color. He's blue, the things we do together are in yellow. We don't always put our tasks into the calendar here. This just gives us a general overview of when we'll have a chunk of time to work on something. Over on the right, when you're in calendar view, it puts your task list there. You can grab one of these and drag it into a time slot. And if you right click a task, you can tell it to add to calendar and it will add it in. I'm not sure what it used <laughs> to add it. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off 
what it did was it added it to the next available time that I had to work on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. That's basically what I'm using Sansama for. This app is still kind of new to me, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But there are so many other things that you can do with it. Over here on the right, we have weekly objectives. There is backlog, which is stuff that you wanna work on someday, but maybe not quite yet, so you can put them there. So any ideas that you have that you wanna work on. And then there is an archive. So if something gets rolled over four consecutive days, it will end up going into this archive folder. I really like this archive folder too because when something ends up in there, we either need to reevaluate how much of a priority it is or we just need to take it off our to-do list or maybe even delegate it to somebody else. There's a search tool and then when you hit this plus arrow, here are all the other things that this can integrate with. GitHub, I don't know what that is. Jira, Trello, I know Trello, Asana. On their website, they have a ton of tutorial videos explaining how to use this app. And very quickly, you can also go into focus mode and then the only thing on here is your task list and your calendar for the day if you just wanna see that. One of my other favorite things about this app is the daily reflection. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Monday and hit reflect to show you what it did for the next day. So it would say, well, it's saying yesterday in review, but it would say today in review, and it's telling me everything that I finished, and then it's asking me to do a daily shutdown, which is you can just do a little, you know, quick few lines about your day, and then it shows the tasks you got done at the right still, and then you hit wrap up. I'm not sure if that really showed how it actually goes, but it's just to go over your day, make sure you're not missing anything, and prepare for the next day. Okay, so that is it. If you're interested in this app, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link for it down below. It is an affiliate link, just to be honest with you. So I really appreciate it if you do click the link and give it a try. I really enjoy this app. My husband lives by this app now. And now one of my daughters is even trying it. So if you're looking for a new planning system online, you might wanna give this a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some helpful information from it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you did like it, I'd love if you hit the thumbs up. It really helps. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I do post a new video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.